I have a problem. I am addicted to talking to people. Anybody else on the same page? Raise your hands. Don't be shy. Um, <laughs> to the point where I am starting to wear technology on me to increase the opportunities that I am aware of people reaching out to me. Even while we're, we were talking, I am tweeting this entire experience. Who uses social media? Who uses social media for their personal life? And who uses social media for business? So, by the way, I want you to interrupt me because I am addicted to talking. So please, if you have any questions, please interrupt me. I thought I had a clicker. Sorry. All right. <laughs> what is social media? Does anybody feel comfortable enough to answer that question? Go ahead. Yes, definitely an interactive online conversation. It's utility. It allows us to be able to connect to our internal network and people that we already know, especially our current customers, and then people that we never would have been able to reach before. Have we thought about this a little bit towards our businesses? Is it a struggle? Do we feel like it's very tough to figure out what to say on these platforms? Raise your hand if you have a problem with that. So that's when the fear sets in, right? What do I talk about? How do I know how much is too much? What do I share? What if my competition is watching me? Biggest question, right? What if my boss is listening? Or unless you're an entrepreneur. Um, what if our board of directors is listening? And do people really want to know what I ate for lunch? Sometimes, if you are at a spectacular restaurant, yes. This is about the point where we need to, we need to be us. And uh, even said it best, we really are, we have our own personalities and we connect with people because we know who we like and we also work very well with the people that we know and like, right? So who, who purchased something recently on an online website? Raise your hand. Before you purchased anything, did you go to any of their social media sites? Raise your hand. Yes. And what happened? What did you see? Totally. And that's, that's the biggest component, right? We want to know that if we're purchasing through an online website, that we're going to have that comfort zone. We're going to be able to trust them. They're not going to take our credit card information and run. And most importantly, if there's an issue with the product, I want to know that there's an easy access point to talk to their customer service, to be able to communicate with them, and make sure that there is a warranty on that product, right? We want to know that there are those easy access points. And that's when we can start evaluating social media. We can utilize it from different perspectives. Has anybody heard of Warby Parker? So they are basically an up-and-coming brand. They make glasses, and they focus in the social good space. They use their Twitter feed to engage with customers that have questions or problems. And if, it's, if they can't fit their answer in 140 characters, they incorporate video to make sure to increase that communication. They want to know that they're able to provide these resources for their customers so that they have those easy access points to engage with them. So it's really about getting your perspective on what the situation is. If you're running your own company and you're running your own business, you want to make sure that you are providing a lifestyle for your customer because that's what they connect with. It's not only about the product, but it's about the full experience of what the brand is like, how, how they see things, and if they are going to synergize within that person's lifestyle. Something that we have to pay attention to is there's a difference between authenticity and transparency. Have we heard these keywords before? Yeah? Transparency is really about how much you share, and authenticity is about the truth of your words and your actions. We just want to make sure that we keep those separate. It doesn't necessarily have to, it doesn't necessarily have to, uh, it's about being authentic, right? We want to make sure that in social media, it's about being yourself. And you're able to, you're able to,
to really share who you are and what you have to share with your network, your customers, your, your contacts, and how you can best connect with them. And really about showing your personality and getting to know your community. How can you help them? So I like to bring up a couple of different perspectives. Have we heard of Oscar de la Renta? So Oscar de la Renta actually has somebody managing his social media for him. It's Oscar PR girl. But we know her as Erica Bierman. And she really is able to create an identity online. She focuses on, do we know the, the term selfies? Yeah, so a selfie is about taking a picture of yourself and showing it. Because we want to see her. We want to see how she's dressing. We want to be able to connect with a person. Even in the background picture on her Twitter page, it's her talking to Oscar. It's about the person that we're connecting with and the lifestyle that they're presenting us with. Do we have questions so far? DKNY has the same situation. So DKNY brought in a PR girl, but really known as Aliza Lift. So she herself, this is all her personality and how she synergizes with that culture of the brand and the lifestyle. This is how we are able to to showcase really how the brand fits into your lifestyle because it's going to be through somebody else's perspective. Danny Joe is probably one of my favorite case studies. Danny Joe launched their brand on Instagram. What a concept, right? They really were able to connect with the right people at the right time mainly because of the actual products that they were selling. They have gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry, but it wasn't about that. It was how do you wear it? Where do you wear it? And really, what is the lifestyle that I could see myself wearing this to? They came up with, uh, who's heard of Man Repeller? No? Um, so they're working with Man Repeller to create an arm party. And it's really about creating new concepts and synergizing within the market of how you can bring value. So it's really about understanding the identity that you're trying to portray and the lifestyle that your company synergizes with 